Okay, this is the first test of the uh, Botech Assassin after I took it over to the uh, American Archer Shop at uh, Oak Hill. Have the draw length reduced and uh, had it chronographed. Chronographing about 289 uh, feet per second with the airs that I have right now. Uh, seems to do a whole lot better. So, this is a video test of me uh, shooting my Botech Assassin. Air smack air. Yeah, closely. Got really close to it. Six air shot. I'm gonna go down and check it out. So I'm gonna stop this recording and uh, uh, take the camera down. There. Of course, here we are going down to the uh, target. Oh, I actually uh, broke the knockoff. If we. Uh, Zoom in here to see. You can see that uh, that knock broke. Don't think, you know, I didn't get a Robin Hood, but it took the knock out. So, we'll uh, get these areas out and uh, do another shot. Okay. I don't know if I had uh, uh, almost a Robin Hood shot or uh, if it could be these were my homemade uh, Illuminox. Uh, by the look of the air, which I'll try to hold up here so you can see, it looks like it could have been almost a Robin Hood. There's the second one. Okay. And there's the end of it. You can still see part of my homemade luminol. I don't know if it was almost a Robin Hood or if the uh, knocks were uh, not capable of with, uh, withstanding the uh, force of the uh, Botec. So I'm going to try four more shots. These errors don't have aluminum, so they're just regular mops. Again, those were homemade. Homemade aluminums. They work great in the Martin uh, Jaguar compound that I had and the uh, Parker Trailblazer. Didn't have any problems.
Vater. Okay, here we go. Not too bad of a groove. But I'm still working on the site since I had all this work done. Pardon for the dog barking. He doesn't know how to shut up. Yeah. Not too bad. I'll do a little tweaking. But, uh, at least I got the boat my proper uh, draw length. And uh, it's set at 60 pounds. Like I said, it was chronographed about 289. Uh, I think it's because of this heavy fletch wrap I've got on. I'm going to make a change there here in about a week. So, let me get these errors pulled out. Okay, here we go again. Try a few more shots. Good groups. Uh, a peep site needs to be fixed. Uh, probably try to take it back. It's uh, not lining up perfectly. If you noticed, I drew back and then let it back down and adjust the peep site the stern. So I have to get that adjusted a little bit. Uh, that's because I didn't get to shoot it much here at the bow shop. Uh, about an hour and a half there. And, uh, the, uh, had to slide the uh, peak sock down because of changing the draw length. So it just needs to be lined up a little bit. No big deal. So, that's all I gotta say for now. Thanks for watching.